Hey, this is Firestarter, and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. Uh, I, I was going to do a Let's Play on um, Total War Rome 2, however, I don't know, I, I put like 6-7 hours into the game, and it's pretty much the weakest strategy game I've played in the last few years. I, I honestly don't get the hype behind that game. So, uh, I don't know, I picked up Europa Universalis 4, hoping to get a better experience. Um, Paradox hasn't really let me down too much, so... If at all, anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a try. I'm not familiar with the series, however, things look pretty similar to Crusader Kings 2 in some ways. So I think I might be able to uh, get right into the game, no problem. Now, I, I uh, did look up a couple Let's Play videos for this game, uh, just get an idea how to play. And from what I've seen, most people will choose Castile or Portugal, and I'm not going to do that. In fact, in most of these games, I usually try to pick up uh, the smallest country, or like in Crusader Kings 2, maybe I'll become a, a duke, uh, never king. And rise up the ranks, so I'm gonna do that here. You know what? I'm gonna pick a random one and I'm I think I'm gonna pick Saxony here. Difficulties way up. That might not be good for uh a first playthrough of the game. And I'm not sure what a personal union is. I don't know, let's just go ahead and do it. Hints, um, just, yeah, maybe I should be reading those, um, diplomatic map mode, yeah, no, I gotta get used to this, political map mode, there we go, alright, first order of business, I can hire a free military leader. Cool. This will make a military commander out of your ruler. Is that even a good idea? Do I have an heir? One year old. I don't think I'm going to do that, but I can get a free leader. I can get an admiral. No point in doing that though, I'm not... I don't have access to the water, Baltic Sea or anything like that. Um, Recruiting a general will cost me 50 military power. Okay, I have 39 military power, so I can't do that right now. But I will do that here shortly. As for missions, we can improve our prestige. We need at least 50. We're at, what, 4? Form an alliance with Anne Hall, which is right here. I don't think I'm going to do that because they look pretty vulnerable. I might be able to uh, annex and Hall, and form an alliance with Brunswick. I don't know, maybe we can do something like that. Let's go ahead and try to form an alliance with Brunswick. Why not? Alright. You have a free advisor slot. Now I'm making, what, plus 0.4 gold per turn. So honestly, I'm not even be able to afford this. Let's see what happens. Uh, I do have one plus one guy here. Stability cost modifier minus 10%. Decent, I guess. Better relations over time plus 30%. Might help me out with the Brunswick deal over here. Morale of armies. I think I want that. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit this guy. Cool. Alright. I could get more, but I can't afford it. I mean, I'm losing money now as is. Minus 4.6. So let's go ahead and go to economy. I'm not in any wars right now. I'm going to go ahead and take down my army units a bit. Maybe just until I get into 
positive. Alright. Before I forget, I know that there's this trade stuff, yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure how all that works yet. But I do know that I have a guy here collecting trade from Ween, right? Okay. And I think if I'm in this area, I can collect trade from there, right? I don't know. I have territory in here and here. Oh no, where's my other trade guy? Right here, what is he doing? Transferring trade power from here to here. I don't know, maybe I want to collect trade from here instead of transferring trade power. So, let's recall this merchant. Alright. And I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to pause it. Oh wait, I want to do something with my two uh, diplomats. So I know right off the bat, I want to improve relations here, form an alliance, right? Actually, I'm going to expand all this stuff here. Alright. Well, let's just go ahead and improve relations. In the same time, I think I will be uh, fabricating a claim at Anhal. Why not? Go ahead and speed that up a little bit. One missionary. I don't think really we're Catholic. You know, being in this region, I'll bet everyone is Catholic here. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, I have a trade merchant, so let's go ahead and go to the trade map mode. Um, collect some trade. We'll send this guy. Let's see what happens. Probably not the smartest thing to do either. I have no idea. This is my first uh, playthrough of this game. What do we have here? An alliance offer from Austria. Where's Austria? Down here. What do they have going on? They're allied with Poland, Cologne. Ooh, they have a lot of stuff going on down here as well. Uh, they can fab they have claims or cast his bellies rather on a lot of people. So it's likely they'll draw me into a lot of wars. However, if I want to take over a lot of this region, I might need a huge backer. Let's go ahead and accept this alliance. I got a feeling it's going to kick me in the ass in the end, but I don't see why we shouldn't take it. I'm also going to move my uh, unit up here. And the PayPal Conclave has elected this guy, this new Pope. I wonder how that works. You need at least 11 points of PayPal influence to vote for this cardinal. How do I get PayPal influence? Where do I see that? Oh, right here. I have 1.89. Okay, now. Holy Roman Empire, okay. Am I even on this list? Oh, yeah, I am Catholic. Um, and I need. To be the emperor, I guess. All right. What's going on? Royal marriage offer from Austria. This will bring our two countries close together. Our legitimacy will change by minus three due to their inferior prestige and legitimacy. Having one royal marriage will also have effect on Saxony. Yearly illegitimacy plus point one. Increased chance of new air plus 0.5. What's legitimacy do? Legitimacy is the measure of how legitimate monarchs are perceived to be by their uh, subjects. 
heirs with weak claim will have a low legitimacy once they inherit the throne. Revolt risk minus three, tolerance of true faith plus one, and so forth. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just go and do it. I'm only losing three uh, legitimacy in doing that. And it also secures a relationship with Austria. Now, how are we doing over here? Plus 25. Can we see the status on our claim fabrication? Oh, we can. We're at 33%. Cool. So, I don't know, right? I feel like I'm fitting right in, uh, coming in from Crusader Kings 2. Alright, oh, you got military power. You can hire a military leader now. This guy is a 1 3 2. A good shock maneuver. Let's see, I can assign the leader like that. Awesome. Yeah, so my long-term, or short-term goal, rather, is to uh, get access to the Baltic Sea and see how all the expansion stuff works out. I'm going to go ahead and increase that to 4x. Now, this number down here, is that my influence? It is. Okay. It looks like I might have River crossing, maybe if I go in there. Oh, they're allied with Lundberg, which is over here. So that could be a problem. What I will do is, uh, first off, I'll see if I can replace this unit with something else here. Because I'm going to be offensive. And uh, the, the yellow dots, are they offensive or defensive? That's offensive. Alright, I'm going to switch to the Hubbard Infantry. And how many units can I have? Six. So I'll go ahead and recruit two more. I thought I switched that over to uh, Halbert. Yeah. So why can't I recruit them here? I don't know how that works. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, increase army maintenance. I kind of wanted to get all this taken care of before going to war. We have gained the Cassus Belly against Anne Halt. Awesome. Oh, no doubt this is going to affect my relationship with Brunswick over here. Uh, they're not going to want to see me expand like that, you would think. You know, honestly, I don't even want to secure an alliance with them anymore. I have Austria backing me up. Potentially, they're going to be enemies with me in the future. Well, that's another thing I know that I can do. I can uh, list and haul. As a, a rival, right? And I should gain more prestige from beating them in battles. So maybe I should have taken the prestige uh, mission. In fact, uh, let me take a look at my missions. Well, I'm not going to gain 50 prestige from this one war, so I'm going to hold on. I'll see if taking out Hall will deteriorate my relationship with, with uh, Brunswick over here. Oh, 
Okay, I can choose Halberd Infantry now. Awesome. And I have a diplomat. Oh, right, because um, he's done fabricating the claim. I'm probably not going to send him anywhere else because I think I'm going to need the diplomat to. Uh, to negotiate peace and annex that territory. And Halt's opinion of Saxony changed by plus 30. Oh, <laughs> that won't last very long. Alright, let's go ahead and... G, okay. Go ahead and declare war, take Anhalt, right? Turn the speed down a little bit, and let's go and take care of this. So we gained 6 prestige, awesome. Look at that. I'm at war with Woundberg. Okay. And Thuringia joined our war against St. Hall. Awesome. So what, I'm 49% done with the siege. Well, we'll see what happens. Minus 28. What is that, like a 28% chance to be completed? Gain 10 administrative power or 10 prestige. I want to get 10 prestige. Minus 21%. What is going on here? Actually, it is increasing. It's on minus 7. 14%. Each time a siege phase happens, a die of 1 of 14 is rolled. That roll is then added together with the siege modifiers. You can see it, that it's at a 21%. 35. And we won the siege. Okay, so it must be the percentage chance of winning the siege. So we have 100% war score. Since this option will allow you to offer peace deal to your enemy. Okay. Full annexation. See what happens. They have accepted our generous peace offer. We suffer a 22.5 aggressive expansion relations penalty. Or each province uh, you own that is not one of your core provinces will increase your overextension. The amount of overextension depends on the base tax of the province, each one base tax is equal to 4% and overextension. You usually want to turn recently conquered provinces into cores as quickly as possible. How do we do that? Make core. Okay, so we spend 45 administrative power, 14 months, and hopefully that'll help us or, you know, we have a zero tax on this province. 
so hopefully that'll increase. Let's take a look at Brunswick real quick. A minus 12 relationship. Yeah, that's not going to work. Alright, so missions. Wait, what's going on here? Revolt's possible? We can boost the ability, which is something I think I want to do anyway. Um, the, the two Let's Plays I've seen from this game, people like they boost their stability right away. Global trade power, national spy defense, national revolt risk. It's one percent. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go ahead and boost it. Why not? Harsh treatment. Spend fifteen military power. That's not a lot of military power at all. Demand unlawful territory. The Emperor Austria demands that we return the province of Anhalt to the Holy Roman Empire. Denying this request will seriously impact your relation with the HRE. Are you kidding me? Local revolt risk plus 10. Local tax modifier minus 33%. Ouch. I'm declining. I can't let Austria hold me back from expanding. Austria would seriously kick my ass though. Um, let's take a look at our missions. I'm going to cancel this because there's no way I'm going to get a positive influence with them. In fact, I'm going to return my dude. Yeah. Now, I think what I want to do is. Well, we still have positive influence with Austria. We'll just go ahead and send my other diplomat to Austria and keep our alliance going strong. And I have another guy. You know, we might even talk to Poland and secure an alliance, a direct alliance with them. Or start fabricating a claim. Altmark looks like a good potential person to, to do this with. They're allied worth with, with uh, three other people. How about Thuringia? I can fabricate a claim, but I can't declare war on a country with which I have a union. Unfortunate. All right, twenty-four percent on the core completion. So who do I want? Depends on who their allies are. Maybe I will risk it and hopefully call in my allies. They have Bremen. I have no idea where Bremen's at. Up here, somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay. They also have Wickenburg, which is. Somewhere here. Or Magdeburg. I don't know. Somewhere here. And the Hansa up here. Yeah, I can't really find these people. Alright, whatever. You know what? I'm going to lower my uh, my army of maintenance. So I get a positive income here. And Brunswick, who are you allied with? Well, Thuringia might help me out. Let's just uh, start fabricating a claim at Altmark. Gonna risk it. 
and I have 21 influence here, so... Oh, I can't do anything with 20 influence. Alright. 2% revolt risk, I'm not worried about it. The core is almost completed here. I'm actually going to increase speed a little bit. Almost done. Saxony against lacks of protection, trade efficiency minus 10, trade range minus 10. Lose diplomatic power, but gain mercantile. Um, not sure what that does. How much diplomatic power I have? 314. I'll just go ahead and do that. Sounds better than the alternative, right? Okay, so we have core and we are receiving tax. Awesome. They are the same culture and religion, so we don't really have to use our missionary. Will that increase our military? Maximum military size? Yes, by one. Cool. Though we can't really afford that right now. How are we doing with the claim fabrication? 36%. Not bad. How are we doing with our Austria? Plus 74. That looks like high enough. Uh, I'll stop improving and I'm actually going to... Well, I have to wait. I'm going to start improving Poland's relationship with me. select the mission yet. Not until April of 1452. Oh man, that's a long time from now. Should have just chose the uh, prestige mission. In fact, you know what? I'm going to select Altmark. If I can. That's a rival. Neighbors. Okay, for some reason I can't do that. Whatever. Do I have enough to recruit if a tree? No. Not enough gold. It's gonna cost 10. How's our claim fabrication doing? 80%. Poland, plus 44. Awesome. Secure some alliances with some powerhouses. Okay. I'm not going to be declaring war yet. I want one more gold so I can maximize my army size. Let's go ahead and do that now. Austria broke their alliance with Cologne. Interesting. Well, we have good relationships, so hopefully they won't be doing that. No monthly attrition, so I, I don't really think I need to increase... Uh, Um, 
what you call it. Economy. Army maintenance. I don't know, let's see what happens. Oh, I do. Their morale is super low. Then why didn't it say so up here? Is that just attrition? But the morale didn't update until they moved my unit. Lately we've been looking for painters or artists to try to adequately capture the glory of our monarch. As it happens, a painter offered his services to us uh, just this morning. I don't have 7 gold. I've gained 1 stability though, and 1 and 10 prestige. I'm gonna hire him. I don't know what happens when you're negative money, but... Looks like we took a loan. Okay. Altmark. Sorry, but, uh... Declaring war. So, my general is really good in the shock phase. We barely had enough uh, morale to finish that off. Let's put this back in diplomatic map mode. I know I'm at war with someone else, right? No, just Magdeburg. I thought they had allies. I guess not. They must have dissolved. Go ahead and speed that up. Took another loan. Ouch. So this needs to hurry up. you know, actually do help me out. You can invest in new technology. It will cost 480 diplomatic power. However, I think it costs diplomatic power to, to negotiate peace and annex this territory, so I'm gonna wait. I'm not entirely sure on that, but um, I'm gonna find out here pretty short shortly. Um, we're at 28%. And we took out another loan. Ouch. Come on, you can do it. We have won the siege. Okay, let's talk to Altmark. Full annexation, send demand. Awesome. Okay. And that did take some diplomatic power, but I do have enough to invest in this technology. And if I do that, I can get a dock, which doesn't really matter right now. Marketplace, local trade power plus one. Trade range plus 100. Well. Oh, wait, we can get national ideas too. Four eighty administrative power. Okay, so how much administrative power is it gonna cost to get this core? One forty three. Okay, so I can't get national ideas anymore, but I will get marketplace and dock. Okay. And they're demanding that I return Altmark. I'm declining that as well. I'm not going to let them uh, prevent me from expanding. 
Let's see my relationship with them right now, though. Plus 24. Let's just go ahead and improve relations with them now. How are we looking with Poland? Plus 69. Where am I? Right here, okay. Let's go ahead and spend, wow, 45 military power. I can afford that. Alright. Things are looking good. Also, I will be spending less money on my army. Oh, cool, check that out. I don't have to lower it all too much anymore. Alright, I'm actually going to end my session here, so thanks for watching guys, and take care.